minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby, and this is the Eve of the Theophany. Before we read today's Gospel, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy Gospel teachings, Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, thine all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. Now today's Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 3, verses 1 through 18. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Eturia, and Trachonidas, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Abilena. And in the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. And he went into all the region about the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. He said therefore to the multitudes that came out to be baptized by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits that befit repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the multitudes asked him, What then shall we do? And he answered them, He who has two coats, let him share with him who has none. And he who has food, let him do likewise. Tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than is appointed to you. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what shall we do? And he said to them, Rob no one by violence or by false accusation, and be content with your wages. As the people were in expectation, and all men questioned in their hearts concerning John, whether perhaps he were the Christ, John answered them all, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming, the throng of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So, with many other exhortations, he preached good news to the people. The Word of God. Tomorrow, we celebrate the Feast of the Theophany, or the Epiphany. In the early church, the birth of our Lord was also celebrated on the day of the Theophany. It is truly a great day in our spiritual lives. As Christ prepared himself for his ministry through the baptism of John the Forerunner and the descent of the Father and the Holy Spirit, we too should prepare ourselves for his ministry and, of course, for our own missions here on earth. Praise the Lord. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow as we celebrate the Theophany. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.